morning, my name's Matt, welcome back to the shop, I can't see anything, there we go, so here I am, um, it is New Year, Happy New Year, fucking, yeah, let's hope something good happens, uh, so I've got the oven on, the oven is set to 110 degrees C, um, I've got this casing, I've got it on the rack, um, what we'll do, box, just a stop over, spraying shit like that, and then basically it's spray, take it out, turn it around, spray. Um, I want to talk about a few things that I've been bleh, banging on about, whatever. This box is literally just to stop over spray. Um, this is just uh, the cases, the case halves. I'm going to do one at a time because you could fit both in the oven, but I'll just do one at a time. Literally, I'm not really in any rush or anything. Um... Well, I, I am in a rush because I want to get this done so I can make room for the next thing. Well, I want to get the engine done at least, that the engine buttoned up and put back together. Um, then I can start on the frame, chassis, blah, 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 work out I'm doing that. Because I want to make some room on this bench for um, stuff in the future that's coming. Regardless, I've also got to do the fucking Christmas special. Because um, I miss Christmas, as you well know. So, yeah, for those who want to know... Uh, it's just, they've got fucking far too much to do. Anyway, let's stop the yapping, let's get cracking. I did have two lights, but the other one's run out of batteries, it's just fucking died on me. The light is good to have. Um, I'd like this higher, but it'd be alright down here. It's literally, we're not after a showroom finish, obviously we're just after a protective coating. So let's talk about a few things. Um, tack rags, so these are the... U-Pole ones, these were 69p each, so the cost for call, and like I say, these are the U-Pole jobbies, they're the ones I recommend, got no other reason than that's that, um, paint, <laughs> right, so, paint wise, I think I've got all of the paint, like all of the paint, I may do, and I want to, well, I, it's as far as I understand it, it's really expensive, but I'd love to one day get into um, what do you call it now? That um, oh, the gun stuff, Cerakote. I'd love to one day get into that um, and powder coating. Well, funnily enough, I have the powder coating, I got the Eastwood powder coating gun and some powder. You'll see that soon because. That's what's next. It was actually the main reason for the oven, not this, um, to get the oven in. Uh, or having an oven. People said, you've got an oven in your garage. Yes, I've got an oven. Ovens in garages are fucking awesome. Heating up cases to get bearings out. You can literally... See, I've got this thing. You know, the, the tray for your oven where you... It obviously needs cleaning because it lives in here. But you can put that on a rack with the rack on it, you can put cases in, like case halves like that, leave them in there, put it up to 150 degrees, and you lay the bearings drop out. Um, that, that's that. So ovens, preheating stuff to weld, if you need to, if you're going to do certain things with welding, um, paints, uh, heating up bearings and stuff like that, stuck stuff, you can always heat stuff up and see if it'll you know just pop off by heating it up. You know, what does this go? This this starts at 75 degrees. I don't fucking... I am going to get a thermocouple and test this oven. I'll probably do that when I do the powder coating stuff soon. And I haven't done powder coating, so that's going to be a um, a really good exploration. But this, it's meant to go to 250 degrees. Um, and it's quiet. It's fucking brilliant. So, uh, anyway, paints... So this is the Simone stuff, everyone uses this, it seems to work. Especially if you cure it in an oven. It's on the ER5 engine, I've used it in the past. Uh, on video, that's what I mean. So I've got uh, aluminium, matte black, gloss black, matte black, matte black and aluminium. So we're going to go with aluminium for these covers, uh, for these cases. Um, and the blacks, oh, well, like I say, they're half filled cans, some of them. Um, the blacks are going to be other bits, so we're not just going to do the whole thing silver. Why am I doing it silver? Because everyone does it black. I'm sick of seeing fucking black. Black is everywhere. 
and that's one of the beauties also about the Cerakote stuff, the, the machine gun coating. Everyone is going for this bronze colour because Honda did, right? And that's fine, but everyone's just going black or that colour. And it's like, for fuck's sake, there are so many different colours. There is like a titanium colour. There's like a burnt bronze and a titanium colour. And that's all people ever seem to go for. Well, there's pinks and blues and fucking all sorts. Any road, you know, like I said, this is just a track day. Fuck around. Um, but, uh, yeah, so it sat like this. I've masked it off. I wasn't going to do that on camera because that's fucking boring. Um... Things to clean it with, so IPA, that's what that's in there, I've got another one of these, oh it's got fucking oil on the bottom of it, <coughs> excuse me, oh Jesus, <coughs> fucking hell, I won't bother editing that out because I can't be bothered, uh, brake cleaner, that's another good one, I actually find, uh, acetone's fine, um, but I find that brake cleaner uh, evaporates a lot. I want to say I don't want to say quicker. Just I don't know. Brake cleaner just seems to be better in my experience. I've got nothing to back that up other than experience. Um, been talking about masks in the past, so I thought I'd dig out a mask or two and the filters. So I have a quick dig around and I found these. So these are the 3M, right? So these are filters like that. You've got a a, 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 like a fluffy filter that goes on it with a cover. I just got these out of the, the bin. These are fucking, I say bin, these are fucking probably old. There'll be a date on them somewhere. But these are uh, A1s. The A1s are the foam bits that go on the front. You don't need them, but they're for dust. So these are, as it says on it, Organic vapour filters, so the brown ones, this is 3M6051, I've got the mask, but it's in one of the boxes, but at least I found these, right, with all the other gubbins, I've got some new ones, they come in like, crusty packets, I was going to show you the crusty packets, but what's the fucking point, you need to see the filters, and I don't want to get them out, uh, these are EN14387-2004, it doesn't mean they were made in 2004, I don't know when these were dated, but anyway, you just put these on. So they're organic filters. They're brown. I've got this mask. So this is a Scott Profile 2 mask. Um, and this has got fucking every single band in the bloody world. And it's got the the brown, the grey, the yellow and the green. I can't remember what they all mean. Someone in the comments will tell you. But it, this is quite similar. It's mucky as this is fuck. It needs cleaning and sorting out. But this is quite... It's been in storage forever. This is, you know, blah, 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 blah. That'll get you as well. As long as it's got the brown one. Or, what I generally use, is this fucker. An S10. Why? Because it's got the eyepieces. Again, this is covered in dust because it's been sat on the wall. Um, it's Charcoal filters are absolutely fucking fantastic. If you can smell it, you're in deep shit. This thing hugs your own entire face, so it's goggles and mask all in one. Fucking wonderful. These are so... And the, the fucking replacement filters cost nothing. I don't know if it costs nothing. But I would trust that. That is designed to keep out stuff like sarin and stuff. It's not about trust. It's just I've got one, so we'll use it. Uh, and I'm used to... I'm, I say used to wearing it. I've worn it for quite... I'm on an NBC course fucking forever ago. God, that was fucking horrible. Run around playing football with an NBC fucking mask on. The gas mask on is not fun. So, I'm looking for bloody gloves. I seem to have lost... I had a box, and it says gloves and stuff on it. And I looked in the box, and it has an empty... You know, the kiddie fiddlers. It had an empty box of it. But I know I've got a, a box with some more in. I just fuck it up, bloody know, as usual. Um... Oh, we can just do it without the gloves. It's not ideal. But as long as I don't touch it, um, I'll be fine. So, we're going to go aluminium. The oven's on. Uh, like I say, this is not a show, This is not going to be a showroom finish at all. I'm not saying that as an excuse beforehand. It's just that it's not. It's engine enamel. There's no lacquers. There's no primer. There's no any of that fucking rubbish. As long as this comes out clean, then we're all good. And what I do is I um, 
I don't know actually how sacrilege that is. So let's open this fully up. No, you don't open it fully up. I can. Oh god, there's a lot of shit coming off it actually. Hence why you do it. Look at the shit that comes off there. Fuck me. Oh, I haven't even cleaned. Sorry. <laughs> I've cleaned the other one, not this one. Oh, for God's sake. Right, we'll get it off the rack then. I haven't masked up the other one, that's the problem. Take that off there. Put this down. And then don't touch it with my bare hands afterwards. Right there, so it's not rocking. Can you see? There we go. So what I want to do... Or is it just that bit? It might, it might be just that bit. Just give it a quick rub down, and I'm touching it with my hands. Oh no, it's fucking filthy, isn't it? It is fucking filthy. Don't use the tap rag, actually. Where's the where's the blue rag? It was right there. Oh, it's, it is there. Oh god, this is entertaining shite. Let me clean it off camera because I don't want to bore the fucking living fuck out you all. <laughs> right then, so um, that's that, and we're ready to rock and roll. So it's had a rub down. At the speed light, probably to you, because I probably sped the fucker up if I'm going to use the footage at all. Put my lid back on that. So, with this setup, I can just turn it, you know, 90 degrees. Oh, but is the sound on? Please say the fucking sound is on. Is the sound? Yes, the sound's on. Thank God for that. Yeah, I'd like it higher, but shit happens. Move that box out of my Which one are we going for? Right, let's make sure <laughs> we don't cross the paint. I have done that before, many moons ago. Spraying away, put it down, put it down next to the other paint, picked that up, sprayed, and I think it was, I think it was white. It was white onto black. Like a twat, it was uh, some yorks. Well before I did YouTube. Any road. Mask on. Let's do this shit. So, I've uh, shaken these up. It's been really, it's been really cold the last week. Like fucking, I think it's like, what is it now? It's like four degrees or something outside. Yeah, uh... Yeah, four degrees outside. So, why well, have I got this on my face? So, so what I've been doing, them, them fluffy bits shouldn't be there, that's bad. But we are underneath, it's going to be alright. Like I say, this is just engine casing stuff. All we're after is a coating and just no runs or anything horrible. Um, yes, I'm going to paint the grill. Doesn't fucking matter, really. Um, you can easily clean them off. Take them outside, stainless steel, it's great. What was I going to say? I was going to say something about... Oh, yes, so the, the paint cans have been in here. And, well, I've put them over there in the toolbox near the um, log burner, which is amazing. Get yourself a log burner if you've got a fucking garage bigger than a single car garage. I wish I had the other light. I've just got light so I can see what the fuck's going on. As you can, you can hear how warm it is, because if it was, I ain't got an example, obviously everything's quite warm in here. But it, it, the balls stick, if it's not very warm, I think it's like, what is it in here? I can't see. You've got to get the angle, I hate the moment, you've got to get the angle, I'm going to get some digital ones. 21, 22, something like that, that's what it says, so it's lovely jubbly in here. And now I'll put this fucking oven on. Which is warm. Is that warm? It doesn't fucking feel like it is. It doesn't feel very warm. <laughs> right, is that now warm? Raw, oh, for fuck's sake. 
false alarm, we've got to wait for it to... Oh no we don't, because you have to gradually heat up, it's fine. I've, it, it's, it's got a digital, it's fucking... It's a pain in the ass. that's what it is. Right, she's heating up, thank god. You've got to turn it on, turn the dials on, then say I want to do it, then it goes okay then, and then you've got to press it again. Fucking twat. Any road, let's do this shit. It's nothing exciting. Remember, tack court. That's lovely. Get all the bits I can get at. Smell a thing. <laughs> not, not generally, I mean right now. Oh, don't slide on me, you fuck. There we go. I'm just aiming for the hard to get bit. The other thing is, as well, is with the the grate, you can actually get the bits that are underneath, which you wouldn't normally be able to do. That's kind of why I want it higher, really. Paper suit on and all that shite. Because I'm not doing. Because it always goes shitty down there. So handy on this little rack. A handy rack. I was looking if it's touching that rail, which it's not, good. Now then. What I'm bothered about, what I'm really bothered about, is getting this bit around here. 
So. I'm sure that's not touching the cardboard. I'll just make sure I get it. <sighs> what time does it say? 30 centimetres away. Between courts. Through the whole bullshit. What's it say between courts? 25 to 30 minutes. So we will be back. There we are, we'll be back in half an hour to carry on. <laughs> 